Using a function as one of the arguments in a function is called a nested function. I'm going to use the average and round functions as an example of nesting two functions. But first, let's make sure you understand the arguments of each of these functions separately. The average function returns the average of the arguments. So for example, if the range b2 through b8 contains numbers, then the formula equal average b2 through b8 returns the average of those numbers. The round function rounds a number to a given number of digits. So the arguments are number, the number to round, num digits, the number of digits to which the number should be rounded. So let's say from the previous example, I want to round the student's scores to two decimal places. I can use the round function on the result in cell B9, but instead of doing that in two steps, can I simply nest the round and average function together? Remember, using a function as one of the arguments in a function is called a nested function. So I'm going to simply use the average function as the first argument of the round function. Get it? Let me walk through it in Excel. Here I have the average score for the students, but I want to round the result to two digits. Let's do that using the round and the average function. I'm going to start my formula using the round function. Now I'm going to my first argument, which is the number that I want to round, is going to be the average function. Select the range, close parentheses, comma, because a comma always separates arguments in a function, and so my last argument of the round function is how many digits do I want to round this to? Two, close parentheses. Remember to always have the same number of close parentheses as you do open parentheses. And there we go. If we look up at the formula bar, I have now nested two functions together. Thanks for watching.